say to say something, what? what? You got something to say to say something, what? what? You got something to say to say something, what? what? You got something to say. And yo, when I say hip, y'all say hop. Hip, hop, hip, hop. When I say TEDx, y'all say DU, TEDx, DU, TEDx, DU. When I say peace, y'all say love, P, love, peace, love. When I say knowledge, y'all say it's power, knowledge, it's power, knowledge, it's power. Pro, pro, make some noise for yourselves for coming out here tonight. Hello, everybody. My name is Jose Guerrero, a.k.a. Jose, and this is my partner in crime, Eli Lynch, a.k.a. the number one youth MC rated in the whole world. Give it up for him one more time. Come on. <laughs> now, we, we are here to talk a little bit about what we do. Me and Eli are both spoken word slash slam poets, whatever you guys would like to call us. And basically what we do is we work with a few organizations like Minor Disturbance, Arts for Mashes, Flowbots, and we go around and we teach uh, poetry workshops to youth in the inner city, uh, you know, in the communities and everywhere basically around the state. And we give them the gift of poetry. We teach them how to write poetry to express themselves in a way that they've never even thought about before. Um, and you know, so we go around and we teach kids, like I said, we, you know, we teach them how to write poetry. So if you guys are interested, or if you guys have ever considered writing a slam poem, if you guys look in your goodies bag, there is a little notebook in there, yes. And uh, there is a, there's a, a page for us, and if you guys can see that, there is an I am poem, an I am format. And uh, that's the first, th the first poem I ever wrote was actually uh, triggered by one of those. And it's not that you have to write a poem like that. It's just that that's something that can get you started and plant a seed in your head. Um, Anyways, let's talk a little bit more about our background. I am from the west side of Denver, and Eli is from the west side also. He, he's very close to us. Um, I met him in the west side at an at a open mic named called Cafe Cultura, which is actually happening tonight. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll give you guys the info. But anyways, uh, I went out there and I read a poem, and, uh, and Eli was like, yo, man, you should go out for our team. You know, Minor Disturbance has a slam poetry team, which gets to, uh, gets to represent Colorado in the Brave New Voices International Poetry Festival that was this year was held in L.A. Um, after that, uh, we were really excited. You know, we became best friends. We started rapping to each other all the time. You know, both of us are really hip influenced by hip hop. Therefore, after that, we just clicked off and... Uh, Afterwards, we finally made the team and started, you know, we collaborated and came in on this piece that was really powerful and it was really a strong political statement. Um, and afterwards, we got to share our poem on final stage on HBO in front of the whole yeah. world, you know, the whole world. Um, so I'm going to let Eli talk a little bit about the process and how, how much time it took us to actually write this poem and, you know, everything about that. Yeah, basically... Um what happened is, yeah, after we made the team, uh, they were like, they were like, Hoser came up with this concept to write a group piece on, and they were like, you know, you got like a month to finish it, and we're like, all right, cool. And so like about three months later, we finished it, and um, <laughs> three months later, because we run on that poet time. Yeah, uh, poet. Time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and so uh, it was a difficult process because like our styles were like a lot different, because you know Hoser is like really raw with it, put up, put up, put up. and I'm just super clean. Um, this guy. <laughs> no, and like, uh, but in the end, I think that that's what made it so powerful is because it was like different voices coming together and like collaborating like that. Um, it just has a bigger impact and it's more eclectic and I think uh, appealing to more people and uh, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, uh, well, we, we, we didn't go out there to California to reach success or reach fame and stardom, you know. We went out there to show everybody and, and, and Latino kids like me and people who come, you know, from, from lower income areas that uh, if we really want to, we can make our voices be heard. If we really want to, there's people out there that will listen, and if you put your mind into it, all of us can do it. If there's two kids from the West Side that are on television spitting their poetry, then there's no reason why any of you guys out there can do it. You know, there's no reason why you guys can't do it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, because straight up, like, 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 it started, you know, we're just, like, at these little coffee houses downtown reading for, like, ten people, and then the next thing you know, you know, like, we get to talk to the whole world, so. HBO! Anyways, uh, we're not going to be teasers or anything like that, so we're going to go ahead and uh, perform some stuff for you guys. I'm going to read a poem for you guys about hip-hop, and then we're going to bring out Eli back here. We're going to spit some rhymes for you guys. Would you guys like that? Yeah. I need the energy to go up. Yeah. If you guys like what you hear, snap your fingers, clap, shout, 
things at me. You can go, bra, bra. you can say, oh, yeah, anything you guys like, just make noise. Because if I don't hear noise, I'm not doing my job. I wish it rained coffee so I never fall asleep. So I never miss a moment, so I never miss a beat. Because I love you. And even though this bullcrap hip-hop encourages me not to fall in love with another girl, well, I tell her, screw you, because you're not just another girl. You're a princess. So you remind me of old school hip-hop. Way back when I needed a girl and not a dime, your face reminds me of words from Tupac and Nas. Your lips are so big and juicy like Biggie Smalls and Big Pun. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. But for a girl like you, I'll wait a lifetime because you're special. Because whenever I look into your eyes, I'm on a quest to find a tribe. A tribe lonely like Mojica. A tribe whose only mission is to commit roots grounded to hip-hop. And to me, that means love. See, I don't only love you because your curves give me the chill like Lauren Hill's voice or because you're Stylists are unique like a model techniques, revolutionary noise, but because when I'm with you, it's like Aerosmith and Run DMC. It's a perfect combination like Mob Deep before they sign with G-Unit. See, I need you to get by like Ty Lib. You're my ice cubes and my ice tea. You're my Wu-Tang ice cream. You're my loving. You're my message. You're the only thing I need. And without you in my system, I'm incapable of the breed. You're my delight like Sugar Hill Gang. You're my perfect beat like Africa. I can't live without you like Big Al. And you make my nation rise like Brother D. Now, all these comparisons to hip hop does not mean I love hip hop more than you. I just love how you love hip hop just as much as I do. Cheer up. <laughs> Y'all cue the music. What the music at? Acapella? We watch to switch things up for you guys. I want everybody in the crowd to clap. Shout out to Bubba Fly for the beat. Come together like a quote from the Beatles. Let's form flocks and source the sky like the Eagles. Let's make our words sharp like needles. The whiff they try ignoring us, our words will pierce their evil. And like Knievel, our stunts can be lethal. But I risk my life for my dead and my people. Yo pa mi hijo, se la dedico. Esta canción suena desde Denver a Puerto Rico. Que soy gritos y baile rico. Eso es azúcar que Celia Cruz dijo. Feel the rhythm through your body and your pores. Let's stop fighting terrorism. Let's fight being poor. Let's cure the wounds of those who are sore. Let's imitate the lions and let's roar for justice and so much more. Cause you deserve the world. I grab the globe in my hand and it twirled. And maybe that's why we confuse. The reason we feel used is not the president that's dying, it's the truth. That's the truth. What? But ain't nobody done to take away my dream. I gave my son a weapon when I showed him how to scream. And ain't nobody that can take away your voice. Express yourself. Make some noise. Bra, bra, one more time. Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody that can take away your dream. I gave my son a weapon when I showed him how to scream. But in my dreams, it was never about getting, getting cream. cream. It seems to me that in the scene there's bigger things than limousines. And there's a chance that I could make a lot of loot. If I spit like every industry prostitute. Or when I hop in the booth, I could drop the truth. And make up some dope, dope rhymes, rhymes like, like Dr. Seuss. Cause in reality, that's what I'd rather do. Than try to perpetrate a fake ass attitude. Because if I had a penny for every time I let the devil tempt me. Then my pockets would be heavy from the envy. And I bet the and Benny's was not acting so unfriendly and I could feed my belly but I would still be empty or if I had a nickel left from every single cigarette I sucked into my soul until the ever and the filter met I would probably still regret messing with the kiss of death when I'm reminiscing life with just a couple minutes left but if, if I had, had a dream of saying what I mean and meaning what I say and never traded it for cream I'll be living every hour like I'm singing in the shower and if they tell me quiet down I'll sing it One even louder time, Ain't, Ain't nobody, nobody gonna, gonna take, take away, away my dream. dream I gave my son a weapon when I showed him how to scream And ain't nobody gonna take away your voice Express yourself Make some noise Bruh. You got something to say to say something What? You got something to say to say something What? You got something to say to say something What? You got something